This is pretty CUNY. So grandpa stayed here overnight and Taika came down here first. And they don't even speak the same language, but somehow my dad knew to give Taika a milk, which I think is CUNY. <laughs> Their bond is awesome, makes me so happy. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause I was like, dad, how did you know he wanted milk? Like, did you, cause that's one thing I was always been like, not scared, but like, um, like wary of. I'm like, I can't leave them too alone because they're not able to communicate, but they somehow figured it out, which is CUNY and awesome. So we brought out the heater, and taika has been doing the heater dance. Yeah, Show them the heater dance. <laughs> Why does it make you dance like that? Because it's like warm. Feels warm? I didn't do it to grandpa. You didn't go to grandpa? You did to grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you big silly goose. How cuny is this? So this is normal, right? We're in the morning. I train with mama. Mama's getting ready to train. And then we also have Taika. But how often is grandpa also here? I feel like we have a little audience. And we all get to hang out here and get fitness together. This is CUNY, huh? <laughs> you CUNY. Thank you. Well, it's hard to have to go home. Hey, Grandma, I have to catch your vlog. Oh, this is CUNY. That's my favorite. You give him a kiss? Good job, duty. It's my favorite. You can have one too. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're what? You're just passing out hugs and kisses all day. Thank you. And there's so much love today. Oh. Hey, Tucker, have you seen this place before? No. Never? No. We're right, eating at. Oh, that's under the sign. Wahoo's Fish Tacos. It's funny. Because we see this place all the time. Because Taika's Jiu Jitsu is right there. Let's see if I can find it. No, we can't see the sign. But Taika's Jiu Jitsu is right across the street. And so my dad doesn't know um, how to get to the freeway. So we drove on the freeway so my dad could follow us to get to the freeway. And uh, on our way back, we're like, you want to just try to eat Wahoo's fish tacos? Because we never really eat here. We see it all the time. So now we're here. Show me all the skateboards. How many skateboards are there? That's awesome. Do you know what you're gonna eat, Mama Potato? Huh? Do you, you know what you're gonna eat? No clue. I have like what about so some bajaladas? So many options. They are, huh? I ate here back in college. There was one in our um, on our campus. Yeah. Oh, I want churro chips though. Churro chips for the grubs, bruh. It's kind of soluble. You know, it's pretty funny. I don't think I ever walked out of a restaurant before, but I was looking at the menu, and since we're back on the diet, I was like, oh, none of these things seem appetizing. There's a lot of bomb food, a lot of cheese and stuff, but I can't eat those. And the things that I can eat, I'm like, oh, I don't know. What about you, Mama? Well, I think for me, this is business 101. Yeah. There's too many options. Everything's all over the place. Uh, it needs to be a little bit more condensed, and uh, I was just overwhelmed by, dis by like all these choices, and yeah. none of it really made sense, so I was like, that's what I was like, what are you getting? I'm just gonna yeah. copy off of you because there have been so many studies done on if you have too many options, people just get overwhelmed and they walk away. That's so, true. Lesson. That's true. Keep it simple, stupid. That's like, that's business yes. 101, yep. K-I-S-S. -S. Yeah. Honestly, that exists in business, so keep it simple, stupid. Until next time, Wahoos, when I'm not on a diet, I've seen a lot of cheese, a lot of enchilada stuff and guacamole I'm gonna get, but not today. So this is pretty cool. We found this place on Yelp. It's called the Protein Source. And what I like about this place is that they have the macronutrients on the menu. So like for example, steak and egg skillet, right? It tells you 760 calories, 67 protein, 37 carbs, 38 grams of fat. And they have that for everything from pancakes to wraps to other kinds of bowls and salads and stuff. So it actually looks pretty good. I'm really hungry. I think I might get a pancake too, to be honest. Especially if they know what it is. 
Then you get the chocolate fever. You get a steak and egg skillet, you know what I mean? Or you get French toast with nine grain whole wheat bread. That's cool. Twin Towers? Ooh. You know what you're gonna get, Mama? No clue. I was kind of dreading. I'm like, I hope it doesn't tell me what I'm, I'm like. Again, <laughs> we have a million fucking choices. So I'm what about, like, uh, you want a breakfast item or a lunch item? Lunch. Because they have all these bowls. Like you get a steak lover, skinny salmon, teriyaki chicken, mark and mussel. No help. So what did you get over here? No clue. The one I originally wanted uh, had like apple and kale. I think it was greens and like cucumber and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they were out of apples. This one sounds better though. So on the fly I went this one and this one didn't have apples but it had like coconut water, pineapple. Those two are alone are one of my favorite combinations. Pineapple and I could tell. I could tell by your order that it's your favorite combination. Well this one is called Peanut Butter Lovers and it has chocolate protein in there and two types of peanut butter and it has 50 grams of protein. So in oh, this okay. meal, this plus the other uh, thing that I ordered, it's 60 grams of protein, so I'm gonna have 100 grams of protein in one meal. Whoa, was that good? Uh, it's very natural and raw, so no added sugars. Really? This is also the first time I've ever gotten a uh, vegan protein. Oh. They asked me, you want whey or, ve or veggie? And I was like, oh, I never tried veggie probably. Give me a veggie one. So I'm about to see how it is. And I got it with almond milk, so the whole thing is technically vegan. Even though my uh, meal is steak and eggs. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yeah. You got a breakfast? Oh, shit. Shut up. Serious. Shut up. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's peanut butter protein. You can drink this every day, buddy. You get jacked. Taste it, dude. 50 grams of protein in a little bottle. <laughs> Imagine he was like, oh, shit. I don't say that shit. I don't hey, say that. You can't say that. I don't say that. Okay, good. This actually looks pretty high quality. And Taika likes the protein shake, which, as a proud bro father, I like very much. That turkey bowl looks really good, too. Let me try, let me try, let me try. Mm. Is it pretty good? Mm -hmm. What? We might have found a new healthy place. Big, big, big. No, it's not. I just bit it. I know it's not hot. Big. Damn, that shake though. All right. So Papa took Taika to jujitsu, and get ready to catch me winded. In three, two, one. I always get so winded after coming up these damn stairs. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, so now it's my time to go into the abyss. Into the abyss that I call an office that I refused for so long to tackle because as we all know, it's not about the rearranging. It's not about the rearranging of the big furniture. That's the bitch. That's the fun stuff. We all know that the shitty shit, 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 shit happens when you have all the little knickknacks that you're like trying to find a home for, like all the little pens and note cards and staples and refills on ink cartridges and, and rulers and all that stuff, you know what I mean? The big stuff is fun because you're like, ooh, ooh, la, 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 ooh, a shit, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, but the little stuff, you're like, wah, wah, wah. So, I have no other excuses now. I've organized everything else. I've even organized the storage underneath our stairs. I've organized all of Taika's stuff. I've run out of things to keep me preoccupied to avoid coming in this room. And here we are. I gotta do it. I gotta take advantage of this hour that Papa's gonna have, actually an hour and a half, that Papa's gonna have Taika, so I gotta get it done. I got to get it done, so here we go. So tell me about your day. How have you been? You've been good. I hope you've been good. You deserve to feel good. All right, all right, I'm avoiding it. You're right, okay, moving on. 
Okay, two hours later, and no sweater on. We have some junk, but I wanna show you. I didn't get to organize the way I wanted to, but at least I moved things out of the way. I want to show you everything. Don't come in yet, Papa. I'm gonna show them first. You see it behind me? So this is what I mean by I wasn't able to organize it the way I want to, but at least things are not on the floor anymore. Whew. I have a space again. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna show Papa now. Okay, come on in. Yep. Turn off the lights. Can I come in? Yes, please. What about me? Yep. Yay. Turn on the lights. Oh, look, that's the wrong look. Where the light doesn't work? Yeah, I'll find it. There it is. Well, Don't this mind. Is, yep. This this is beautiful. Thanks, baby. Wow, the MFC. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. So as you can see, like I was saying, I didn't get to organize the way I wanted to. So there's yeah. a bunch of little knick-knack petty whacks all over the place, and they're all fucked up. Yeah. Stop, baby. Make me a lot of money. This is also not straight. Okay? I know. I don't care. Can I help you fix it? Later. Okay. This is not important. That's what I'm talking about. These little things. The point was to get space no, here. No, you got space. Looks great. And I even moved the boards out of your your closet. Monkey, oh. you're gonna break my keyboard. Cut it out. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Like two hours. Two hours? Yeah, it took me Not two bad. hours to do all this. Excuse me. Remember all these boxes that were here and it yeah. was just a cluster fucking things? Yeah. Leave it. No, no, no. That's not yours yet. All right. Dun, 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 dun. What are you doing, Judy? Good job, dude. I highly, highly, highly recommend to all my parents out there to get your kids started cleaning up their own mess as soon as possible. I'm fortunate enough that I had my mom teach me that when Taika was so young. So as soon as he could start walking, my mom would sing this song. What, would, what song would grandma sing every time it was cleanup time? Clean up, yeah. clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, it's time to go to bed. Really? <laughs> Yeah, so she would sing that to him. So every time she would start singing that song, he would know that it's cleanup time. So we clean up all the time. Another thing that we started doing, because they are going to start talking back, some of them, some of them are really good. Not that this guy's bad, but he just always has an opinion about stuff. So what we started doing, because he started being, not talking back, but just being careless with his stuff. We were like, okay, cool, dude, clean up. And for every toy that we find that's out of place, you're going to do a push-up. And how many push-ups have you done so far every time you miss uh, cleaning up? 40. No, you don't do any push-ups because you always clean. Yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna sleep with tonight. Okay, you'll sleep with him tonight. Watch this. But yeah, so that's a good little. Come on, come here, I have, I have stuff right here. Okay, go. No, no, right here. Okay, here. I have, uh, no, 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 like, like here. Okay, here. Yeah. Oh, facing this way? Yeah. Watch, I'm gonna do it all over your head. Okay, go. You yes. did. No, I didn't. Um, okay, so, good job. So yeah, so those are some little things that you can do. I don't like incentivizing for chores. Like I don't like going, if you do your XYZ chore, then I'll give you a dollar. If you do this, then I'll give you, because then they start equating it with like rewards where it's not a reward, it's their responsibility. So I really try hard to not do that. Um, hey. Are you playing or are you cleaning? I'm, I'm a doctor. I'll give him that because that was really creative. But clean, dude. That means you're playing and not cleaning. We gotta go to sleep. And on that note, thank you guys so much. Oh, damn. Okay, Bart. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.